yes good morning everyone now we are going to talk about 11th chemistry division and unit 8 physical and chemical equilibrium and unit 9 solutions okay first one what physical equilibrium three types of physical equilibrium solid liquid equilibrium and liquid vapor equilibrium and solid vapor equilibrium so what is the physical equilibrium a system in which the amount of matter constitu constituting constituting sorry different places does not change with a time is said to be in physical equilibrium yes sir a system in which the amount of matter constituting different places do not change with the time with time is said to be a in physical equilibrium okay three types solid liquid liquid solid and solid vapor first one solid liquid for example h2o yes and uh, equ equilibrium uh, reaction h2o l say first if some ice cubes yes h2o yes means h2o solid is ice cube, some if some ice cubes on water are placed in the thermos flask at 273 kelvin and one atmosphere pressure then there will be no change in the mass of ice in water at equilibrium rate of melting of ice rate of melting of ice at equal to rate of freezing of water okay next liquid water and what liquid and vapor equilibrium see h2o liquid and h2o gas vapor means gas for example liquid water is in equilibrium with it is vapor at 373 kelvin and one atmosphere pressure in a closed vessel okay h2o liquid equilibrium process h2o gas here rate of evaporation equal to rate of condensation and solid vapor next one solid vapor solid vapor uh, means uh, iodine solid can uh, equilibrium iodine gas is a closed system in which the solid is supplement to vapor in this process also equilibrium can be established between two places when solid iodine is placed in a closed transparent vessel after sundown the vessel gets filled up with the violet vapor d2 sublimation of iodine instantly the intensity of violet color increases after some time it decreases at finally it becomes constant as the following equilibrium is attained for example iodine solid equilibrium iodine gas next important question relation between kp and kc relation between kp and kc let us consider a reversible reaction xa plus yb equilibrium ic plus mdc reversible reaction a and a and b are the reactants c and d and x y c and d is a product x y l m the stoichiometric coefficients okay and uh, consists of a b c d okay this put you applying the law of action the rate of the uh, formed reaction uh, okay listen k c means kc and kp okay k pressure constant okay this is a general reaction from uh, let us consider the general reactions in which all reactions all products are ideal gases xa plus y big dial c plus md the equilibrium constant kc is kc equal to cl dm ax by kp equal to pcl pdm pax ppy say pv equal to any pv equal to nrt is a ideal gas formula idea gas uh, gas pv equal to nrt i consider p therefore p equal to n by brt therefore acting mass equal to molar concentration equal to n by v p equal to acting mass into rt and p a formula applied to p a x equal to a x r t x p b y equal to d by r t y b c l equal to c l r t l p d m equal to d m r t m applied to formula k p k p equal to c l r t l d m r t m a x 
ax rtx by rty kp equal to cl dm rtl plus m ax by rtx plus y rt rtl plus m rt rtx plus y next kp c uh, i can cl dm ax by rt common rt l plus m into s plus y therefore kp equal to this k c d d m a s is equal to k c therefore apply to k c r t del m g next important question want half equation next one important very important three more question want half equation the equation gives the quantitative temperature depends of equilibrium constant k the relation between standard free energy del g naught standard free energy change del g naught and equilibrium constant del g naught equal to minus r t ln k del g naught equal to del h naught minus t del s naught equation equation 2 equation 1 uh, substituting 1 in equation 2 minus r t ln k equal to del h naught minus t del s differentiating rearranging ln k equal to minus del h naught divided by rt plus t uh, del s naught divided by r differentiating equation 3 with uh, respect to temperature therefore d ln k divided by dt del h naught divided by rt square because next equation 4 is known as differential form of one to half equation on interheating the equation 4 between t1 t and t2 with the respective equilibrium constant k1 and k2 therefore integrate k1 k2 d ln k del h naught divided by r dt into d1 t2 t2 divided by t square ln k1 k2 del h naught divided by r minus t1 by t therefore t1 t2 the formula apply to formula k2 ln k2 minus k1 del h naught divided by r minus 1 by t t2 across 1 by t1 and ln k2 by k1 equal to del h naught by r t cross multiplication t2 minus t1 and t2 t1 and uh, log k2 k1 equal to del h naught 2 divided by 2.3 not 3 k k sorry 2.3 2.3 not 3 r t2 minus t1 divided by t2 t1 is a want to of equation next question law of mass suction at any instant the rate of chemical reaction at a given temperature is directly proposed to the product of the melting masses of the reactant at least at the instant rate infinity reactant x next question the rate law what the rate law the rate law states that at any instant the rate of chemical reaction at a given temperature is directly proposed to the product of the active masses of the reactants at the instant next question is reaction quotient what the reaction quotient the symbol is q reaction quotient is defined as the ratio of the product of active masses of reaction products rise to the respective stoichiometric coefficients in the balanced chemical equation of that to that of the reactants listen the ratio of the product of active masses of reaction products raised to the respective stoichiometric coefficients in the balanced chemical equation to that of the reactants next one types of bonds next one types of bonds three types of bonds first one three types of bond on the first one ionic bond covalent bond coordinate covalent bond how many types of bond three types of bond covalent bond ionic bond coordinate covalent bond first one covalent bond what is the covalent bond these types of mutual sharing of one or more pairs of electrons between two combining atoms result in the formation of covalent bond is called covalent bond hydrogen atom number one electron configuration one to comparing mutual sharing of one electrons therefore uh, hydrogen uh, total electrons 2 hydrogen total is 2 this hydrogen to, uh, total electron 2 therefore 1 plus 2 therefore stable electronic configuration to form covalent bonds next one ionic bond next one ionic bond
see ionic bond is a in one of the sharing electrons one is the sharing electrons another one is the accept the electrons or bar by losing one electrons one one atoms losing one electron one atoms accept one electrons say listen hydrogen atomic number one is one therefore one is one chlorine atomic number is 17 okay the four mutual uh, sharing one uh, hydrogen converted to H plus I mean convert to Cl minus therefore H plus is here plus means loss of an electron and minus is here gain of an electron therefore H0 there was stable electronic configuration chlorine 18 18 is here NS2 and pieces therefore stable electronic configuration therefore to form ionic bond next coordinate covalent bond listen boron atomic number 5 covalent covalent bond means donate the pair of electrons donate the pair of other lone pair of electrons in the atom okay listen boron atomic number 5 total valency 3 1 2 3 therefore attached atom therefore finished zero valency nitrogen atomic number 7 valency 5 1 2 3 4 5 attached 3 hydrogen atom remaining 2 points so 2 valency therefore this is lone lone pair of electron the one pole electron is a total sharing of boron therefore uh, to form coordinate covalent bond next one formal charge next two question formal charge same one three more question first point uh, draw the draw the structure structures say example CO2 draw the structure structure CO2 uh, C means C is a lowest atomic number therefore central uh, oxygen is a highest atomic number so left and right this is total valency uh, oxygen valency 6 carbon valency 4 oxygen valency 6 total 16 valency third point draw the single bonds between atoms fourth point distribute the remaining 12 electrons say carbon uh, carbon valency 16 uh, 14 4 that sorry carbon valency 4 so therefore 16 minus 4 12 the 12 uh, 12 valency sharing this with the remaining two electrons as six lone pairs starting from most alternative atom the oxygen six lone pairs are distributed to the two terminal oxygens to stratify their octate very uh, fifth point verify whether all the atoms have octate configuration in the above distribution the central carbon has two pairs sort for octate therefore is to satisfy the octet rule to lone pair of from one oxygen or one pair of each oxygen can be moved to form multiple bonds, leading the formation of two possible structures for carbon dioxide. Uh, C, wait, wait, uh, C, uh, oxygen double bond C, double bond C, O, and another one, oxygen double bond C, single bond oxygen. Okay. Is a six lone pair atoms. This oxygen is a two lone pair atoms. Okay. Next, how to find formal charge? Formula: number of valence electrons minus number of lone pair atoms plus number of bond divided by two. Say so carbon equal to four minus uh, number of valence four. Therefore, number of number zero. Therefore, number of bond four bond. The four into eight electrons. Therefore, eight divided by two. Therefore, zero. Oxygen 6, 6 minus 4 plus 4 by 2, therefore 0. Therefore, uh, oxygen carbon uh, formal charge 0, 0, 0. Thank you, students. God bless you. All the best. Stay well.